welcome back to another LSPDFR patrol. We've got a new update for the game. It's called Super Events by the same guy who created Super Callouts. And what it does is create some ambient events within our GTA 5 world that we can respond to as a police officer. As always, if you want to check out any of the mods I use, check out the link in the description for the mod list. We're using the same car pack by Tickle My Elmo that we've been using for the past few patrols. Also, we'll be streaming live at noon on Sunday, September 22nd, I believe. Yes, yeah, September 22nd, noon on Twitch, Eastern Standard Time. We'll be on the Aspirant Roleplay uh, game server. It's been a while since I've streamed, but I think it will be a fun one. So let's go ahead and get this patrol started. Dispatch weekend 18, show me 1041 10 8. Roger, one, Lincoln, 18. Okay, and there appears to be something occurring right in front of us, so we'll check this out. Okay, uh, dispatch, Lincoln, 18, I've got a person fainted on the ground. Ten four. Citizen, the Requesting the ambulance. Way. All right, we're going to stop traffic while we take care of this. We got an individual. Okay, ma'am. Here, can we uh, go ahead and step off to the side of the road, please? Okay, we're going to let uh, the paramedics take care of this one. If you just stay put, I'll ask you some questions here. See if she can be revived or not. So this is one of those ambient events I was talking about, and it's somebody who uh, needs medical attention. As the prom said, we could either attempt CPR ourselves, or we could go ahead and just call for an ambulance. And what we did was just call for an ambulance. There are a lot of hospitals close by. CPR has failed. So this person is not going to be able to be revived. We're going to call a coroner out here to take care of this. I'm going to search the body here to see if we can find a name for identification. All right. We got the name of Gemma Tita. She's got a veteran's ID card on her. So that's how we saw the name. Uh, she's got several... Molotov cocktails for whatever reason, not sure, in a tiny velvet sack containing five loose diamonds. Very interesting. Requesting corner. Backup required on Eastbourne Way. Yep, we're going to be Eastbourne Way right in front of the police station. All right, ma'am, can you tell me a little bit about what happened here? I'd rather not get involved. Well, you seem to be pretty concerned there. When I pulled up, you uh, looked like you're trying to render assistance in some way to this person. Did you know this person? A neighbor. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any other details about what happened? Train to become a police officer? Okay. Where were you headed to at the time when you saw this? To Chamberlain Hills. Okay. All right, ma'am. Let me just get your identification for my report since you, uh, were here on scene first. May I see some ID, please? Thanks. All right, Mrs. Dixon, thank you for your identification. I'll go ahead and hand this to you back. At this point in time, you're free to leave. Um, I'm going to give you my card. If you can think of anything else, we can add to this report about what exactly happened uh, to the victim there. That would be great. Um, otherwise, you're free to go. All right, you can go now. Heaven's above. She wasn't too much help in trying to determine what happened, but... <clears throat> it's possible that 
you know, she's confused or, I don't know, in shock. I don't know what exactly is going on, but I got her information there in case we need to follow up. With that, let's go ahead and clear the scene. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me code 4, and back to Nate. Oh, we got a vehicle on fire. Dispatch Lincoln 18, vehicle on fire. 10 4, copy that. 1, Lincoln 18. Location gonna be Rockford Drive, Carcer West. 10 4. Requesting fire. 10 4, copy that. Requesting fire truck. Copy that. Fire truck. Assistance needed on um, Rockford Drive. All right, so we're rounding the corner there. This thing just exploded on us. So we're calling the fire department out here. Right now, we're just walking off traffic our way. All right, I guess they decided they just need one. Let me uh, move my car here. All right, once this has been cleared, we'll go ahead and check it out for ourselves. See if we can find anything. In the wreckage, sometimes that'll give us clues about exactly what happened. And sometimes we can pull a plate number, see who the car is registered to, things of that nature. To me, it sounded like an explosion going off in the car. Oh, it looks like there is somebody that was in the vehicle at the time. They are attending to them right now. And they're gonna, wow, shockingly, they're alive. So will the fire department transport them? Or are we gonna need a separate ambulance? All right, looks like he's gonna go with the firefighters. This one car is killing me. All right, yep, they loaded them in. Let's make sure they can get out of here, okay? We'll keep this road still shut down while I take a look at this vehicle. Oh yeah, the plate is intact. Requesting plate check. 346 Edward Edward King, 572. Suspect's license plate, 46 Edward Edward King, 572, a traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Copy that, dispatch. 10 4, copy that. 1, Lincoln 18. Okay, Mikey Sampson is his name. I don't think that's the registered owner of the vehicle. Nope. Let's see if we can find anything in here. Nice and crispy. We got a tire, and iron, a tire iron and a box of Vinewood zombie memorabilia. So nothing really there to be concerned about. Okay. All right, we'll get a flatbed out here. Requesting tow truck. Hey, how's it going? Oh my goodness. Assistance required in uh, Rockford Hill. Well, that's one way to put out a fire. All right, let me move my car. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Help you out. Hey, hey, 
All right, vehicle has been picked up. We'll go ahead, get traffic start to resume. We'll go ahead and also notify dispatch. We are all done here. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me code four on that vehicle fire. Dispatch Lincoln 18, we've got a person with a gun. 10 4, copy that. 1 Lincoln 18. Requesting code 3 backup. 10 4, copy that. Requesting code 3 backup. Assistance needed on Rockford Drive. Roger, dispatch, we are en route. Go ahead, drop your gun. Ma'am, drop your gun. Drop the weapon. Drop the weapon. Get on the ground. You're under arrest. How are you doing? Well, I got the hell out of Richmond and went to a street fair. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show one in custody. Roger, one Lincoln. She was just walking around with a rifle in her hand. So, this is another random ambient event for the open carry. I'm actually going to look up right now open carry California and see what results we get. Because I'm curious, are you allowed to open carry in California? Is still illegal to open carry, carry a gun in public in California? Um, open carry is limited to people engaged in the protection of life and property. So I would say it is illegal to have that. Uh, we base Los Santos laws off the real life California laws. So, uh, we're going to arrest her for the open carry. Ma'am, do you have any other weapons on you? I was on Richmond Glen and I saw so many girls who dressed just like me. Uh, whatever. Can't touch me without a warrant where you're going to be under arrest for open carrying a weapon. Some states it's legal. It's weird. It can be in a sling. It really depends on the state. If you know more information about this topic, feel free to drop a comment down below and educate myself. All right. We're going to search her, see if she had additional weapons. You just can't be walking around with a rifle in your hands though. Every example of open carry I've seen. They've just had it like slung around their back um, in some type of sling. They're not actually holding the weapon. Uh, we got a lockbox key, uh, some marijuana, and a branded cigarette lighter. Okay. All right, ma'am, if you come over here, let's go ahead and place her in the car and we will charge her with the open carry. A great mod we do need for LSPDFR, I think, is the ability to search serial numbers on a gun. That way we can determine if they're stolen or not. Because at the moment, we don't have that ability. Because if she was open carrying a, a stolen gun, obviously that'd be an additional charge. All right, let me dismiss hey, hey. back up here. Appreciate the help, guys. All right, what I'm going to do here is just pull over and we will work on some paperwork. So let's find out what her name is. It's Emma Roberts. Emma. Uh, let's see. She doesn't have an arrest history. She's been stopped one time. She doesn't even have any type of gun permit anyway. So this arrest report is going to be for the open carry of the weapon. All right. I didn't actually find that particular um, arrest chargeable offense. So we'll just go ahead and transport her to jail at this point in time. Dispatch Lincoln 18, transporting one to jail. Roger that. One Lincoln 18. Fortunately, the drop off is just right up here. 
I think I can do it this way. All right, let me see if this is working. Every time I've done this in the past, I just fall through. Okay, that seems to be working now. All right, let's go ahead and bring it into the cell. Like I said, ma'am, today you're being charged with open carrying. Okay, now to leave, I believe, do I just go out the way I came in? Yes. All right, and we're back where we left off. Well, that's going to conclude today's patrol, taking a look at the super events, new ambient event system. Let me know what you think. Um, I might go back to the old computer plus system. I just find uh, there's more charges and I kind of like the layout better because it actually looks like a real life computer system. But let me know on your thoughts. Uh, com CompuLite versus uh, Computer Plus, what your preference is. As always, thank you so much for watching and make sure to tune in tomorrow, Sunday, September 22nd at noon on Twitch for a GTA 5 roleplay stream. We'll catch you later.